Well, he just called up the, the paper and said, I want you to run this story. I want you to slaughter him. Then the guy grabbed my friend, and then when I looked over, they, both their heads were being smashed against the, uh, the elevator door. Um, so I just w walked over and said, oh, okay. Unfortunately, I was there at the wrong time. The doors opened, and I got shoved in with them. Um, and then before you know it, the battens were coming out and just ducking for your life, really. <laughs> and the Argentinian bus goes by, and it's... You know, it was almost like there was a dis obviously a disco going on there. They're happy, but then the the banging on the windows and you know rubbing our noses in it was totally un un unacceptable in my opinion. You know, there's a way to win, there's a way to lose, um, and they certainly didn't. You know, they didn't show that they they knew how to win in the correct way, in my opinion. I've heard a few rumours that at the next World Cup. Uh, when we beat Argentina, that Bex and I think David Seaman and a few of the boys might have done the same thing. Um, I hope they did. <laughs> my brother was petrified. He said, oh my God, Alex Ferguson is on the phone. He's called you. So he, he told him to call back later. And he just said that, you know, look, we, we want to sign you. We've heard there's a rumour going around. There's a clause that, you know, if we offer a certain amount, we're, we're able to, to get you. Um, I said, yeah, there is. I didn't tell him what, what the figure was. One of my friends came with me, luckily, and this guy was in there and he started talking to me again and before you knew it, he'd give me a little headbutt. What's your job? I mean, it's just, I guess it's just healing hands, just hands on you, on the area, on your, your aura as such. Um, and, you know, it's all, yeah, very strange really, but... Uh, I think I've had four groin operations, a couple of Achilles tendons, had a few problems with my hamstring. Um, that's about, I got they're the only ones I can really think of to be fair. Hernia? <laughs> Hernia, yeah, the groin injuries. I mean, they had four, four of those. Um, unfortunately, they weren't, A, they weren't operated correctly, or B, um, the rehabilitation wasn't good enough, and that was, uh, that's why they, they went on forever. When, in the end, when I got it done properly in Germany, it was a, a three-week re rehabilitation period, and then I was back playing and able to play in the World Cup in 98. In the afternoon before going off to off to the game, came to the, my room and asked, you know, if I had a ra you know, a razor. By that point, I probably wasn't even shaving, so I think he knew he just wanted to come in and just have a chat and just say, look, just enjoy it. You're you top top player. You're going to be here many many more times. Terry thinks the world of you, like he did of me. You know, Terry's Terry knows what he's doing. You're you know, just re remember it. You know, don't let it pass you by. You know, this is your England debut, you know, you only get one of these. I'm not a fan of it, I don't... I just think it's a little bit of a... a little bit of a con, I suppose, towards the fans. I think, you know, not nine times out of ten a better offer comes along these days and, and players leave. Yeah, it was, of course, a wonderful way for it all to end. And what was the score on that match? We won 1-0, so it was a winning goal, so it was, uh, yeah, Roy the Rovers stuff, I suppose. <laughs>